Well, yesterday we witnessed an entertaining so it's a derby and there, are, there really aren't many sporting events in this country at least that can match or even top the atmosphere created at a packed FNB stadium. On the African continent though, it's a different story altogether and to unpack this conversation, I'm joined on, still in studio by uh, Swiss Oramara, one of SVC uh, News journalists I should say, as well as Uvelile Miandu joining us from Vidbank, SVC Sports Journalist, as well as Uche from Uche Agu, African football analyst in Nigeria. So, so I'm going to start with you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Cairo Derby. It's, uh, it's legendary around the country, I mean, around the continent, that there's usually violence when it comes to that derby, uh, to a point that they've taken those matches, some of those matches, behind a closed stadium, uh, because of why? Yeah, I think um, derby is all over the world. It's about breaking rights. It's about glory, it's about supremacy. Um, I think the Cairo Derby is the number one derby on the African continent, if I'm not mistaken. And mainly, you know, it's, it's passion. People are very passionate uh, in North Africa when it comes to football. We saw in the Soweto Derby, uh, the match had to be, to be, to be moved, for, to be delayed for 15 minutes due to that late arrival of fans. But in other parts of, of, of Africa, like in North Africa, if a match kicks off at five o'clock, the stadiums are already packed as early as 10 o'clock in the morning. That's the culture, uh, you know, in some parts of the world. Hopefully uh, things will change for the better here in South Africa in terms of, you know, the late attendance of fans at the stadium. It's a very uh, disturbing uh, phenomenon. Yeah, let's talk about the other derbies that Pravi, you, you are well traveled uh, in, in, in this continent. Uh, let's talk about, for example, the derbies in Morocco. What, do you, what, what makes that one so special? Um, I think when you look at uh, the Casablanca derby, uh, Widat and, um, and Raja, um, because also in, nowadays um, you, you, you've got into a situation where uh, some of these teams they they take it away from just the local derby and uh, and try and emulate um, what Zamalek and Al Ali has done on the continent and um, try and 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 have an all Moroccan derby uh, in the African space and but I, I think for me what stands out is the crowd and and Morocco has not had the uh, same challenges that um, Egypt has had um, in terms of. The security and also the uh, the alt the altruists um, having uh, the same issue. So I th I think for me uh, the Casablanca derby um, for now it stands out as one of the main derbies um, that we've got uh, on the continent. But um, I th I think in terms of um, a passion and and also the friendliness of the derby, um, it's it, it it's slightly behind the Soto derby. But I, I I was at FNB yesterday. The way the fans were so mixed. It's difficult for me, and I, I think the organizers must find a way uh, to have um, Chiefs and Paris uh, supporters separated because, you know, it, it would look be much better. It, it looks much better when um, the demarcation in terms of how they are sitting uh, is also like that. But I think I want to touch on one of the most exciting derbies, and I think most people will agree. And I, I went there during COVID, um, the Tanzanian derby, the karaoke derby. Yanga versus Simba in Tanzania. In Sub-Saharan Africa, obviously for me, I feel it's just be behind uh, the Soweto Derby. But now when it comes to fun, um, pre and post, that is one derby you don't want to miss. Um, let's bring you in here, Ache. Uh, in Nigeria, um, but I'm sure that you guys have your own derbies there. Uh, Bravi talks about um, how they want to separate fans. Like in, in most clubs in England, for example, you see that uh, the different clubs, fans are sitting in different demarcations. Whereas in South Africa, everybody can sit wherever they want, and you see families who support two different teams. What's your What's your thought on that? And what is it like in Nigeria? As well as also, let's talk about the derby, the Heart of Oaks versus Asante Kotoko derby in in Ghana. What are those situations like there? You're muted. You are muted. <laughs> Ache, can you hear me? You are, yeah, your mic is not on. You, you need to unmute yourself.
Yeah, we, okay. Unfortunately, we can't hear you, Archie, but is, is that a good idea? You want to pick no, up what he says? You know, you know the, the soil to Tabi, it's, it's going to be difficult. We need to admit the fact that it's, it's unique, you know? It only happens here in South Africa, where you, you find that, you know, fans from different clubs mix and mingle, you know, without any major incidents. These Absolutely. people, most of them, they use public transport to go to the matches. Do you expect them to separate when they get to the stadium? It's, 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 it's tricky. Let's just admit the fact that, you know, it's going to be like that for it's a very long to South time now. It's, it's, it's very unique. But also these are families. Yes. Some of these families... Yeah, um, they support different teams. My, my family supports but, Orlando Pirates, but, 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 but then I've got two really... nephews who support Chiefs. Yes. Then when they tra you travel together to the stadium, yeah. are you not supposed okay. to sit together? <laughs> okay, it's Bravis. very tricky. No, no, no. Okay, Bravi, it's no, not no, going to no, work. No, 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 no. I, I'm gonna have to, to I'm gonna have to cut you out. I'm gonna have to cut you there, Bravi. My apologies, Ache. We're looking forward to having a conversation with you on Sports Live next time. Sviso, thank you so much for joining us. And that's where we leave it for tonight. Uh Tabiso Satola should be back next week, but it's been fun being in your company by myself. I'm Kate Nokwe. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>